I know you've been wanting to play this game for a while, but I was hesitant to because I know the remake is coming out. And yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to start playing. I wanted to play through the Dead Space games before the remake came out. It's all right, McCoy. He's here. Nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> I knew you would come. Uh, he's dead, lady. Like you said. I, I saved this. Uh, thank you. I'll take that. Thanks to the kinesis module, you can stay there on the ground. <laughs> Ragdoll. <laughs> uh, oh, what was it? You had a kinesis module. Oh, you mean what was a control? <laughs> there we go. All right. Thanks, lady. Come on. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't throw her very far, can I? Well, you, I think you hit the wall with her. There you go. Thanks, lady. It's great. Thanks. She's dead. It's fine. Yeah, you're desecrating her corpse after she gave you the kinesis upgrade. It's not desecration. It's putting it. It's burying it. I'm burying it under the train tracks. That's what she wanted. It's what she would have wanted, yes. It's what she would have wanted. Oh, do I get more in? I think you get more inventory space now that you've, uh... Oh, yeah, the suit upgrade gives you inventory space. I think space. the suit upgrade gives you inventory space. I believe... I, yes, it does. Yeah. It gave me three more spots. And there's another store. Yeah, but I can't buy anything yet, so it's fine. Yeah, it's too, it's too expensive. And with a kinesis module, we can now excuse, move. A... Excuse me, no. excuse me, dead person. We're gonna bulldoze you off the. Hey, hey. Al oh, Gross, you got guts on your box. Get out of here! Get out of here! I, I guess that works. Clunk, 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 clunk. Pick up schematics. What is that? Schematics for the pulse right? Flamethrower! The flamethrower! Honestly, if you can only have one secondary weapon for this, for this game, if you're if you're gonna go through the entire game with a plasma cutter and one other gun, I think the, the flamethrower might be a good choice. I would do pulse rifle. Yeah, I think anything that you can take out with a pulse rifle can be taken out with a plasma cutter. I mean, the line gun is also good. The line gun is just a bigger version of the plasma cutter, yeah. yeah. I will say, though, that the Pulse Rifle's secondary fire in this game is kind of trash. Well, the Pulse Rifle and the Line Cutter in this game, they're, any job that they do can be done by the Plasma Cutter. Ivan, are you there? We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. Oh, I can't believe I lost her! We can her. still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Oh, don't worry. She's always in the last Looks place like the you look. barricaded the door to the emergency wing. You have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. Communication is useless in all this static. That person that I was arguing with incessantly but earlier. Yeah, I can't believe she's gone. I don't know what happened. I definitely didn't blast out her kneecaps with my pulse rifle. Didn't push her down the elevator shaft. Nope, she's probably fine somewhere. I hope that the Dead Space remake is going to be good. If it's not, I mean, Dead Space 1 still holds up. So if this becomes the... Oh, man, you think they're going to be a piece of shit company and delist the original Dead Space because they're worried people will buy this game because it's the better version of it because the remake is going to be trash? I don't know. That... You're going to pull a Grand Theft Auto? That sounds like something that, that EA would do. Yeah. Um, look, the water actually splashes on you when it lands on your back. Oh, that's such a good touch. This little detail. That is really nice. That's really nice. You're gonna short out your spine. Eh, it's fine. I really, so I wanted to play this for a couple reasons. One, cause the remake is coming out. And you want to have something to compare it to. Oh. It's this part. You hear the thing, oh, this classic moment. The thudding in the distance. What is that? What is that sound of a beach ball repeatedly being thrown against the wall? Why is there blood? What is this wet smacking noise that I hear? Is somebody eating a lemon very aggressively? That guy's got no skin. Hey, uh, you, you okay there, buddy? You doing all right? Need some help? Ah, uh, yeah, I get that feeling. Mondays, am I right? <laughs> uh, the two reasons that I wanted to play Dead Space and Dead Space 2 are because of the remake Hello. And also because of Callisto Protocol. Because that's the Dead Space spiritual successor game. Yes. It, Callisto Protocol is a spiritual successor to Dead Space. It's made by Glenn Schofield. 
There, he's the Glenn Schofield is the director. But you don't have to go back and play Dead Space to enjoy Callisto Protocol. No, but I figured that we would start playing through these and get that algorithmic synchronicity. The remake is coming out in January. It might take a while. Well, and, and Callisto Protocol comes out in December. Oh, the Callisto Protocol comes out. <laughs> it comes out on my birthday! Ah, uh, yes. Guess what I'm going to be playing on my birthday? Animal Crossing. Yeah, you, you got it, buddy. All right. Are you actually dead or are you just faking? Okay, well, now I'm now I'm sure you're not. Or now I'm sure you're dead. Yeah, I arm, ammo came out of my neck, so you know I'm good. Grab that battery, put that in the battery slot. Put there this you. battery in this thing. <laughs> Got another power nose. You can do some upgrading. Whoa. Ah! Ho, ho, ho. Where'd you come from? I was behind you. Blah, 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 blah. And then you can make pulse rounds with that schematic. Yes. It's me! You think... Ooh. What kind of things do you think the remake is going to have that's going to make it stand out compared to this game? Besides the obvious of having better graphics and maybe some slightly improved gameplay, what kind of things do you think they're going to change on it? Uh, I kind of hope they make the controls a little bit less clunky. Oh, hey, here we go. By that you mean... The controls are a little bit clunky are in they? this game. I, I kind of feel like they are. Hmm. Look, it's me, the visible human. Oh, shit! You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. Oh, this jackass. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe. Do you believe, Terrence? Do you? That guy's a jackass. Not you it. find out why later. Your inventory is full. What are you going to do? You're going to have to use an item, a healing item? Go ahead and use that. Nope, drop that. Can't use it. Just drop it. All right. And now it's there on the ground if you need it again. But Yeah. Hmm. A gold semiconductor. I would say a thing that they could do in the remake is maybe switch things up a bit. Maybe not to the extent that the Final Fantasy VII remake did, where they kind of rewrote the entire plot. That would be too much. But I mean, maybe throw in some things for people that played the original Dead Space to death. Maybe like, maybe that one elevator enemy doesn't show up. Yeah, maybe they, maybe, I, I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I need this thing. Just little changes, not necessarily to improve or to, to make things better, but like, to change things up for the people that played the, the Dead Space one a lot, or that, because this game, even though I haven't played it a lot, it is very memorable. I can very distinctly remember pretty much everywhere we've been so far, and I've only played through this game what twice, three times maybe at most. You had that video where you tried, where you did a permadeath run, and it did not last very long. That is true, but I still remember the majority of this game. Well, at least the first few hours. There's, I, I hope they remove the turret sequence. Oh, yes, that's a change they I, I hope they make. straight up get rid of that, because that part sucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they replaced it with an even worse sequence. Oh! Gotta play Sudoku. I mean, this is an early 2000s game, and therefore it must have a turret sequence as mandated by law. Yes, but in the remake, they're going to remove the turret sequence and actually add a puzzle section where you, you can't progress until you fill out the Sudoku puzzles. Oh my god, I remember the first time I did this, or the first time I played this game, oh, and you go out into space, and the only noise you can hear is your own breathing. Is the only noise you can hear are sounds that are being reverberated through your suit. Mm -hmm. You can't, if there's enemies in the area, you can't hear them. It's kind of terrifying. They can sneak up right up behind you. you in never space, know. no one can hear you scream. Mm -hmm. That was another thing that we, we uh, noticed during the Aliens movie that we watched. Uh, there was an explosion and Sigourney Weaver is screaming or whatever, and you can hear the explosion, and we're both like, sound sound doesn't carry an empty vacuum of space, does it? Oh, hello, what's this? There's a hole in that planet. Wait, 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 wait. No, don't don't escape. Yo, ten thousand credits. No, just a I did not know that was there. <laughs> I straight up never knew that was there. Oh, we need to. Um... Yeah, you're right there. It's fine. 
But yeah, there's probably that you just found a little Easter egg you'd never seen before. I never knew that that money was there. Nice. Um, you still have to. As you know, the Ishimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grab boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. Ah, the zero G section. I, uh, I feel like the zero G section is maybe a bit dated and clunky. It's it's, it's a little. It's kind of underused. Underused, you say? They. It's, I feel like they feel, don't use it like enough. You feel like it's more of a gimmick than an actual gameplay element? Is that what you're saying? Oh, it's because I didn't actually enable zero G. <laughs> uh, trying to skip these games, trying to skip steps. Yeah. Zero G jump, aim, and then Y to jump towards it. You think in the remake they should get rid of these sections, or? I don't, they should, I feel like they should maybe do a little bit more with zero G. Oh, oh, oh. I like how in two you can fly, whereas in this one you just kind of jump from yeah, one surface to another. Yeah, you just jump from one magnetic and space to the next. I understand that they were limited by what they could do. Pardon us, sir. We're just putting the battery in there. Hope you don't mind. Ew, it's gross. Like, touch your head. Yeah, whatever. I got a helmet on. And you found a... Uh, Great. You got a shock pad. A shock pad, Combine yes. that yeah. with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Out of the way, dead uh, skill so, body. So, spoiler spoiler alert, just letting you know, there's a spoiler. I'm going to tell you a spoiler coming up. Skip ahead, like, one minute if you don't want to hear the spoiler. <laughs> uh, you, you, I'm, I'm sure you know, Mike. Me, but yeah. The, Nicole the, is dead? Yeah, the chap, the, how it says that for the chapter names. Oh, you mean the, the first letter of each chapter spells out a message? The, the first letter of each chapter spells out a message, which is Nicole is dead. Yeah, I am aware of that. Yeah, I, I had that spoiled for me the first time I played this game. Uh, how was it spoiled for you? Uh, someone told me, someone told me that the the chapters spell out something. So I, and I was I was somewhat close to the end of the game. Uh, I see. So. So it was basically like Nicole is dead. Oh yeah, she's dead. <laughs> Great, thanks. I would say even that's not a huge spoiler for the game. If you know about that and you go into the game, you still get the full experience. Yeah, that's true. All right, spoiler over. You can go back to talking to, go back to watching now. People have already swapped off. They're watching like cat videos now. Oh, probably. Honestly, I would. Oh, there we go. There you are. Yep. Do you want to watch? Do you want to watch two jackasses play play a twelve year old game, or do you want to watch this video of a capybara? Uh, yeah, I'll take the capybara, please. Mm -hmm. Or the carpincho. Is that what it's called in Spanish? I forget what language that is. Maybe Italiano? I'm not sure. Portuguese. It might be Portuguese. You can't hear these things scream, and it's it's really unnerving if that's what you're using to identify their location. Exiting. Because I think in Spanish it's it's capivara. The fact that you haven't picked up any new weapons means you get nothing but pulse cutter ammo. Yeah. So in a sense, going for a pulse cutter only run is in many ways an easier way to play this game. You don't have to juggle different weapons. You just have one of the best weapons all the time. Yep. If you pick up the, the pulse rifle or the, the flamethrower, you'll find fire ammo and all the other ammo, but... You have to juggle which weapon you're using. If you just keep on to use the pulse rifle, pulse cutter, just one weapon. One Got weapon. him. Get him. Was that the new enemy? Ah, oh, it's the three-legged enemy again, huh? Yep. Still him. Okay. Uh, Can't go that way just yet. Oh, no, okay. It's all right. We're going this way now. Okay. Poor Isaac. Oh. Oh, man. I forgot about these guys. These guys suck. See, this is why I would bring the flamethrower. I would, if I'm going to do a, a two-weapon run, it would be the Pulse Cutter and the Flamethrower specifically for these enemies. That's fair. Those guys are those guys are a pain. You haven't had a problem with any enemies so far, but now you've got these enemies. It, 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 take them out with the Pulse Cutter. It's such a pain in the butt. Yeah. Flamethrower. Quick work of them. Yeah, I, I, I see that. These little these little amoeba-looking dudes. Yeah. roly polies. I guess they're, they're more like Hydras. In the sense that you cut one of their heads off and two more sprout? No, I mean, they look like they look like the actual microbacteria of a hydra. Oh. Microorganism of a hydra. I see. We gotta find more nodes for Isaac's spear grid. But, 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 but. Hey, look, this looks like my bathroom after I eat gluten. Gross! <laughs> that's a lot of blood. Are you sure that's normal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting, Zach. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 
does the game even give you those weapons or do you have to buy them manually? You have to buy them. So why would you do that? You can just hold on to the money and buy other things. Yeah. Why would you buy all these different guns? If, mm. uh, aside from the curiosity of it being the first time. Yeah. You could buy the flamethrower. Yeah. I never actually really, I never really used the flamethrower. Yeah. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to, but I'm saying if I'm going to get a second weapon, at this point it would probably be the flamethrower. Pulse you know rifle is kind of good too. You know what? All right, well, you've bought a pulse rifle. You now have a secondary weapon. I now have a second weapon, which is the pulse rifle. So now we're going to use the pulse rifle. Yeah. Oh, ooh. You know the sights? You know what they remind me of? What's that? Predator. Oh, uh, yeah, the three the three dots. Yeah, well, I can got four dots that. now. Yeah, because there's one in the center. So if, if we didn't have that fourth dot, then we could have gotten sued for copyright infringement from I, the Predator. I love how I love how the pulse rifle looks in this game. It's so freaking cool. I love that each one of the barrels like recoils as it shoots. <laughs> oh, it's it, it, I didn't realize it had an individual recoil. Yeah, barrel. Each, each barrel recoils. I wish there was a better way for me to show it. But yeah, each barrel recoils, and then that like piston in the center moves forward and backwards. That's pretty cool. A very unique looking rifle. Not not seen much like this in other games. I love that the way you reload the magazine on this gun is like you're slamming a grenade into it. Yeah. <laughs> it, like it like shotguns forward, and then you drop a new magazine into it. Are you going the right way? There's a lot of blood down this hallway, too. I don't this know. door definitely won't kill me. Can you sprint through it? Are you back? There. Okay. I get it. You gotta do the stasis thing. No, come on. Come on. I can fit through there. Isaac, you can fit. Oh. Uh, Stop being a baby, Isaac. You want to unpurchase that rifle, so you're gonna let the. Stop door... being a baby! It's... Isaac, don't be a baby! I want unique death animation! That wasn't that unique. It was pretty gruesome, though. It was very gruesome. There are some very unique death animations in this game when you die in very horrifying ways. Mm-hmm. What's the, what's the worst death animation you can recall? In this game? Yeah. Uh... Stasis. Uh, I'm actually not sure. Are the... Oh, I think the worst death animation in this game is when you get killed by the, the super wiry Thin Man dudes. Mm. And, like, his... His head comes off and rips off your head and then turns your body into his new body. Yeah, he starts puppeting your body yeah, around. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah. I, I was, that's what I was going to say, too. Any, well, that, basically any of the deaths where you're like, any of the deaths where Isaac would still be alive and able to comprehend what is happening are pretty fucking terrifying. Yeah, so I would say another horrifying one is the final boss. Uh, yeah, that one's pretty messed up. One of the things that I think is really cool about this game is if you don't see an enemy jump out of the vent, sometimes it just straight up doesn't play the musical sting. Honestly, I feel like games like this would do better if the, if the musical sting was just not part of it. I don't know if it does it every time, but I feel like it only plays the musical sting when Isaac can see the enemy. True, but I also think... I, that's and I, I know that's true for, like, the basic enemies, but... Right, and that's a good way to, you know, lure you into a false sense of security if it doesn't play the sting that you expect it to play every time there's an enemy nearby. But also, playing this game with musical stings turned off, like, just music completely off... So you never have any idea if there's going to be an enemy nearby. That's its own unique set of scariness. Yeah. Honestly, I think that's, that's the best way to play scary games like this, is just turn off music. Because sometimes it gets really obnoxious. Scary enemy, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's, that's why games like... Or that's why, like, Resident Evil 4 it is not and never will be scary. Because of the music. And you all, yeah, Resident Evil 5 too, you can always tell when the threat is over and the scariness is done because the music just abruptly stops. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Guess we're done here. Oh. Sorry, I didn't realize you were down here. So, uh, can you. So there's all these body parts down here and the elevator. Can you put these body parts under the elevator and have them get crushed by the elevator? I don't know. I'm kind of curious. Like, if you hit the button to go uh, to raise the elevator. Well, if you hit the button, it will just... You can't get off You now. can't get off the elevator, yeah. But you can use stasis while you're up here to move the bodies underneath the elevator. Uh, maybe. Let's see. I, I've never really thought to try this. Yeah, me neither. But now I'm curious. Uh, it's kind of tough to see. Yeah, I can't really see. Isaac's turtling too badly. Yeah, he's hunched over. Yeah. All right, well, back down we go. <laughs> Isaac's turtling. Like, he's got a really... 
He's got to go really badly, but it's sterling. Oh, no, that's that's legitimately a thing. When you're shooting, like, pistols, when you go like this... Where you hunch over? Where you, like, like hunch down, which I, I do that. I know I shouldn't, but I do, and at this point... I've shot like that for so long, it's all, it's really difficult for me to stop doing it. Right, but turtling also means other things. Yes, it does mean other... <laughs> it means other bathroom-related things. Yes. Oh, hey. boy! See, and the, there's the musical sting again, but you don't really need that musical sting. It's already scary as it is. Oh, it's because there's a lot of enemies oh now. My, oh, my, yes. Oh, and there's one with, uh... There's, there's one behind you. One behind you. Beneath you. A lot of enemies. Yep. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I can't shoot his legs off. Why not? Uh, because they're armored. He's wearing body armor. Oh, is he? What is yeah, he? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. He might be, he might be dead now. Yeah, he's dead Can now. Can you rotate see, him around? See how he's got, like, armor on his legs? Oh, I didn't realize that some of his enemies had body armor on. Yeah! I, I think I can separate his legs now because he's actually dead. But you but, normally can't when he's charging at you. Yeah, normally you're kind of stuck with just, uh... You gotta like freeze him and shoot the arms. And if you're playing on a hard difficulty where you have to shoot off more limbs, you just can't finish those guys off? No, you can. You just gotta dump several rounds into their torso. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor. Terrence. Shepard? There will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. Fascinating. And that's what worries me. Oh! Secret bookshelf! Yeah, I'm not sure I've seen this before. Secret text log? Marker overview. Oh, Dr. Kine's text log. Cool! Neat! And then also there's a tiny marker here, see? Yeah! Gives that's... you the first look at the marker in-game! That's so cool, I've never seen this before. Oh, free stuff! Free yep. items! Uh, I think that's money, and um, weaponry, and more weaponry. Ammo, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah! That's a nice little secret. I think when we get back to the store, I'm gonna sell the pulse rifle and buy the flamethrower. Oh, you can sell these firearms! I think you can! Okay, I, I completely forgot, it's been so long. Dead Space and Dead Space 2 are in my like top my top 10 like best games ever. So man, our Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2, Alien Isolation and like seven others. But this list changes, so do not think that this list is in any way definitive. One but, of these days we'll do like a, a top 10 list of all time, but yeah, it they always do shift around a bit. It, it does kind of shift around, but basically it's like Bloodborne is my favorite game ever. <laughs> for, but, for some strange reason, those games are so frustrating. God, Bloodborne's so good. It's such a good game. Bloodborne, Alien Isolation, Dead Space, Dead Space 2, Metal That's... Slug. Just like the Metal Slug series up until 5. <laughs> that just fills out the list. That's all those games. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I'd have to I'd have to like actually think about it. But yeah, this is very easily in my top 10 best games ever made. Mm -hmm. It's It's so good. Biological prosthetics. Oh, there's yes. They make they make you new limbs and eyeballs, according to the second one. Come on, come on. This guy's gonna need some of those prosthetics in a minute. Oh yeah, my. He's gonna need a new hand. New hand. Yep. Needs a new hand. Oh yeah, he's dead. New spleen. You need one of them. New new kidney. Yeah, you're gonna be okay there, buddy. New face. New head. Oh yeah, he's dead. Man, you keep on getting there two seconds too late to save these people. Yeah, just slightly too late. If only I had been a little faster, the door stays locked until until that cutscene plays out. I'm sure it does. Oh no! Oh no, it's got me! <laughs> That's a pretty brutal death animation for them. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, these little babies with the three tentacles. I believe you have to take off two tentacles on normal difficulty and three on hard? Um, I think it varies. And I realize that these babies are... So all the babies that are in this game are like... Experimented they're, on. They're, they're not They're not actually... Like, they, they don't have a soul. They're just basically an organism that's being grown for new limbs. Right. But I still appreciate that this game is like, Oh yeah, you're gonna be murdering babies. <laughs> I, in Dead Space 2, you are straight up killing kids. 
It's kids that have been infected and turned into horrible monsters. Yeah, you know, it's kind of crazy to think about it, because, like, in Fallout, you're just not straight up not allowed to kill anything younger than, like, a teenager. Yeah. But in this game, you're, like, you're straight up murdering monsters. I guess maybe because they're monsters, it doesn't count. Yeah, look here. It's, like, showing you all the different... They got all the... All the... All the, the hands here. <laughs> they were keeping fingers in this box. Yeah, this is where they keep all the different limbs. You got lower leg, upper arm... Uh, it's, lower leg, upper arm. It's, it's, it, no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't make sense because these arms come in different sizes. Like, then again, I guess there are many different boxes for each body part. See, look, here's more body parts. Huh. You know, I never really focused, I guess, on this. I didn't really, I didn't realize they have, they were making cybernetics in here. They're not even cybernetics. They're actual body parts. They just grow you new body parts. Yeah. I want to see, like, a monster made out of body parts. I... I... I think that's what... I want, that's what those babies are. No, Pretty no, sure. no, no. Not just the baby. I want to see, like, one uh, comical enemy with ar bad. eight arms. Use the shark bad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. Running around, like, slapping at each other. It's like just a joke of an enemy. I mean, that's... Pretty much what some of the bigger enemies are in this game. They're made out of multiple people. Hmm. Maybe it, maybe it's been so long since I've played this game. I don't remember the later enemies. I do remember the the enemies that are very very fast. They don't have a head. Yeah. Those those are memorable. Simply by how fast they are. You know, I said maybe more enemy variety in the remake, but then again, there's probably more enemies there's than some... I I even remember. I think there's a really good enemy variety in this game. Oh boy. It, yeah, but there's a lot of Necromars. Oh boy, oh boy! Well, yeah, they're, that's because that's the enemies that you're encountering. It, it is the generic enemy, yes. Oh, and they have that, those enemies have body armor on yep. their legs. You have to shoot their arms. See how the pulse rifle is so much less effective than the plasma gun? Yeah, but I mean, once you upgrade it, it gets better. But yes, it's that's why I argue that using doing a pulse rifle only run in this game is more challenging than doing a plasma cutter only. What is the, what is the secondary fire of the plasma? Oh, it this? sucks. You want to see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> well, okay. It's really only good if you have necromorphs entirely surrounding you because uh, it just burns through ammo. I do not even remember that. Oh yeah, it's not it's not good. That's I, why they got rid of it and in the second game you just launch a chunk of the magazine out and it turns into a grenade. Oh, see that's what I remember the secondary fire being. Maybe does that empty your magazine? Oh yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it sucks. I it's guess not a good it's not a good secondary fire. If you've got ammo to burn, I suppose, but I mean, it doesn't even target enemy limbs, I don't think. So. No, it just kind of sprays it about, ch at about like mid torso level. Wow, that is. Yeah, bad. it's not a good weapon. It's a sprinkler, but with bullets. Yeah. It was a fun thing to use, but yeah, yeah we're done with that. Now. Yeah, we don't need it. And we're gonna buy the flamethrower. Cool. So now we have a flamethrower. Yeah. Which is great against those little crawly dudes. Mm-hmm. I never really used the flamethrower much. I know the first time I played through this game. I tried using basically every single weapon that I found. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna try use it. That's a new weapon, we're trying it. Every single one. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really use the flamethrower that much. Also, this part right here, this is definitely not how thermite works. You put the thing right there. Oh, it's kind of blinding. That's 100% not how thermite works. Yeah, it kind of ate through everything in a fraction of a second without with very little force. Be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. The way thermite generally works is, think of thermite as like a plasma cutter, only thermite is a powder. This is hey, senior Nicole. medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds, we are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. I'm making, Whoa! I'm making a vlog. Stop screaming. I'm vlogging. I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. Oh, and there's some greedy feedy. We are so fucked. We're so fucked. I like that one. Hey, it's okay to be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we are full. No. I like seeing the graffiti in, like, uh... 
in like Back for Blood, where it's like, I miss the internet, and then someone else writes beneath it, I miss your mom. <laughs> Oh. Okay, let's try using the flamethrower against one of these guys. I know it's not going to work well, but I want to try it. I feel like there's more than just one of them in this room. And... Yeah, it's... Okay, it spooked him. Oh, I killed him. All right. It just, it just applies DOT, and you really only can use it for, like, close range. Hmm. Was it just... Okay, I thought there was going to be more enemies in the game, but nope. Whoop. Uh, no, there's another uh, one Okay, here. that's what I thought. So, you can empty an entire flamethrower canister into them, or, what, five or six plasma cutter shots? Yeah. Mm, oxygen recharge. I basically never upgrade the oxygen in this game. You don't really have to. I, you kind of don't really need to. If there was ever a point where you absolutely needed to upgrade oxygen, that means there was a point where you could soft lock yourself, because you could find yourself later in the game without any nodes to upgrade. Yeah. So, you, there's no point. You don't ever have to do you that. Don't, you, you never really need to upgrade oxygen. You could just kind of go faster in yeah. the area. Hey! Oh, line racks. I don't care. Uh, we're eventually going to get the line gun to try them out. But. Yeah, eventually, but I don't need to pick them up now. Wait. I guess I could pick them up and put them in the shop in storage. Or you could sell them. It's just like, usually if I don't need it, I don't pick it up. Yeah, fair enough. But, all right, we'll take it. Dead space, dead space, it's time for some dead space. There's a baby over there. I'm gonna hit it with this thing. Fuck. You can just keep on doing that, and the kinetic kinetic uh, throwing things are infinite, aren't they? Oh, oh. All right, baby's on the wall. Take him out. Take him out. No, please, I'm just a little baby. Just kidding, I got three arms. Gross. I don't, they may have not done it in this one. Oh, no, you can still do it in this one. Cool. Rip off their arms and use that as a throwable weapon. Yup. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is he? Where is he? Behind you! Oh, no! Ah! They're eating me. I don't like that. They're eating me, and then they're gonna eat her. Oh, my God! Uh-oh. Zach, use melee. Use your awful in-game melee, which is awful in this game. Not the stomp button. That doesn't work. Use the swat at them. Swat at them like they're a bug. Eh. It is kind of working, but it's so clunky and cumbersome. You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. I'm 100% gonna die here. Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe. May maybe. Eh. What am I... What is my... It's kind of working. All right. Well, go ahead and heal. I... I... Take that victory sip, buddy. <laughs> I'm amazed that I did not die there. I was expecting you to, but somehow you didn't. Somehow I pulled that one right out of the garbage disposal. Oh, but you had to use so many of your health items in storage. I don't know if you'll ever recover. Uh, no, I still got two. Yeah. So this is the med wing, huh? I guess not, so. Not a, of, not a lot of privacy for each individual patient, huh? No, it's kind of a mess, isn't it? Well, see, they put like a curtain on that that rod that's up there. Uh, where do the curtains go? Uh, they, the, the necromorphs ripped them down to turn them into skirts. Ah, yes. They, they were ashamed because they were naked. They were doing a whole sound of music thing. <laughs> Hello? Can anybody hear me? I My can. My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here. Come on, Eileen. Ba -na 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 -na. Why do they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please. Do you mind? We're listening to a text log. Toast. <laughs> Toast. Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help! Come on, help me! You killed that nurse. Help! Please. Somebody, please help me! Please. Uh, she definitely earned her paycheck on that last scream. Holy crap! And oh, these are all the these are all the new babies. Yay! We've we've. Yeah, I wonder if any of these babies were actually children of the uh, that were born during development of the game. Do you think, like, in the code name files, those small infant monsters we've been killing actually have like individual names? Like, this is this is Ashley, the the baby monster, and this is Kai, the baby monster. I mean, that'd be that'd be a neat like add-on, but I kind of feel like that's a little bit more effort than they would need to do for something that no one's ever gonna see. Yeah. What were you suggesting that they named the monsters after their own children? Yeah, why not? Cause it's kind of fucked up. It's kind of fucked up, yeah. But they, I mean, they always like they always put in the credits like these are the babies that were born while we were working on the game. Yeah, and then you shoot at them. Oh, <laughs> oh this part's fucked. I love this part. 
Hi. How you doing? I see you butchering that person. I don't know how that guy is still alive. How's it going? That part, that part is, man, the first time I saw that part, I was like, oh, fuck, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, very messed up. Can't really explain it. It's weird. Another text log. Oh, boy. Uh, for our previous conversation, don't bring the marker up here. Like, I want to take a look at it, but good God. Also, Mercer's being fucking weird. <laughs> Do something about that, please. Also, oh man, I'm getting attacked by an IV stand. It's like being <laughs> it's like being medevaced all over again. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> oh that is that is suck in. Okay, I need a doctor. I got a med med IV stand in my body. Yeah, hello doctor. This is stuck in me. I tripped and fell. I know you hear that all the time. Okay. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. Rad. The Baby. exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% oh, of no, the not Corin. are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant Thanks. to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Yeah, don't rely on Mercer. He's a crazy person. Gotcha. I wasn't going to. I was going to go around shooting everything. So yeah, if you want to not care about the plot, you don't even have to pick up those text logs or listen yeah. to them. You don't even have to read them. You just skip on through this. It's kind of boring sometimes. Maybe you're just... You're only here for the action. You're only here for the combat. You're here to kill Are some we? aliens. They are watching. Look, a human head! Gross. Ah, how's it going? Aw, oh, don't be blue! <laughs> Get it? Cause it's, oh, yes. oh, oh, Lack of oxygen. oh, new enemy! So that's a it's blanket. It's the bat! The blanket bat bites a body. And they make another new enemy! And then it turns the corpses into necromorphs! <laughs> It's a new oh boy, I did not freeze him. It's, oh, it's a new enemy because it's like a stronger version of a necromorph. Is it? It's got six limbs. Kind of. Well, yeah, it's the, the, the... Oh boy. Flamethrower is a bad weapon. Shouldn't be used to flamethrower. <laughs> uh oh, it's making another enemy. It's making another enemy. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you want to kill it as fast as possible. So these new necromorphs... They're obviously stronger. But yes, they are stronger. Are they different in any way? Uh, they're stronger and they're darker. That's the only difference is appearance and strength. Yeah. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. Node. Node. Yeah, so the new ones are stronger. Um, I think they're faster, like a little bit. Hmm. Hey, look, there's the captain. That's uh, autopsy reports that the captain is dead, which we already knew. Yep. Sad duty report, he is dead. Reports of his death are wildly exaggerated. Scope my, I can only report on the body. <laughs> reports of his death are wildly exaggerated. No, it's conflicted, Mike. <laughs> Multiple contusions on hands and arms. It was a brief struggle right before he died. Uh, he was restrained in some way. Caused death with a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe. He got stabbed in the eye. Got it! It was the unlawful death. I bet you it was one of those necromorphs with the scythe arms. Ooh, that might may be. But yeah, they have they technically have the necromorphs technically have six limbs, because I think like I think their spiky bits are like the scapula. I think they're like the scapula or like ribs or something. Ooh, I didn't realize that before, but it would make a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, because you can see their you can see their clearly arms. not arms. Yeah, man, I never really realized that. Yeah, they're, if they're close to any body part, it's the scapula. Oops. Oh, yeah, that is a little fast, a little faster. I think you're right. They are a little faster. Somehow, one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Surely, surely that won't come back to bite us in the ass later. Lifting executive lockdown now. 
I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. I feel like half of the jump scares in this game are just ship. that guy popping up. Yeah, you. this isn't an infection. <laughs> It's some the first time I played this, the amount of times I would go and jump when it would go beep, and pop onto the screen. Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Okay. Okay, you have fun with that. I'm gonna sell this flamethrower because it kind of sucks. I'm sure the flamethrower is actually good against... Again, as I said, if I only had two weapons, I'd carry the flamethrower with me, but... It's uh, not all that necessary. I also like in the second one how they, they changed it so that you can hit up and down on the arrows to look for different things. Oh, instead of having the one waypoint towards... Instead of having it only go towards your current objective. I see. Uh, we need the map. So I might want to go upgrade something. Isn't there a workbench? Yeah, there's a workbench. This way. Somewhere around here. This thing is freaking huge. <laughs> <laughs> the line gun, yes. I forget what the secondary fire on the line gun is. Uh, oh, it's uh, a mine. Hello? It's a mine. Oh. It does like a timed landmine. They're I, not very good. I see. And there's the upgrading bench. All right. You're going to upgrade your line gun to be useful? No, I'm going to no. upgrade the plasma cutter. <laughs> okay, of course you are. So you're one, two, three, four away from damage upgrades. Three yeah. away from damage upgrades. You got three. Oh, you can get another damage upgrade. There you go. Click, click, click. Or go to capacity or speed, if that's what you're going for. Ugh. So the next time I get a note, I can just do more health. You know, if you hadn't put that one point down the plasma cutter upgrade, you could have used it right now, but... Yep, I wasn't really thinking about that. It's uh, fine. Whatever. I would have upgraded the plasma cutter damage, you know. Be, I would have been a glass cannon going through this and leave four, four bars of health. Who needs more? Not me. I've got the most powerful plasma cutter in the game. Meanwhile, Isaac carrying this line cutter... The size of a large power tool. <laughs> He's carrying a dog almost. Line cutter, secondary fire. Boop. Is that proximity or is it timed detonation? Timed. You know, if it were proximity, it'd be useful. If it's timed, I feel like it's absolute trash. Um, it is somewhat useful. I've actually seen a lot of people on glitchless speedruns use this to great effect. How so? How would they use that? Uh, you basically fire it behind you or into an area that you know you're gonna have to run through. So that you run through, and then right as you're getting up to the necromorphs, it starts shooting, the mine starts cutting them up. What if you fire it at your foot right here and then activate the tram? I uh, then... The, I pro it probably will just sit here and the tram will move. You're going to use the tram right now, aren't you? Yeah, so, so you're, what, you're saying fire it like fire right there? Fire right there and then activate the tram. Because normally that would hurt you, wouldn't it? I think so. You <laughs> oh, well, it did go off. That's true. All right, good job. Chapter two done. Yay, chapter two. I always thought that this that part of the map right there looked like a seaplane. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. I don't know why. I, guess, I see it, yep. And now we're down here in this green section. What if what if as soon as this starts, I just instantly get dis uh, disintegrated because of the mine? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Like the damage caught up with me? Like you saved it and hit you, yeah. For a time here. First, there's no fuel in the engines. Second, the gravity centrifuge is offline, which means there's a couple of trillion tons of rock pulling us down. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. Okay. Days since last accident, zero. Ha <laughs> ha, funny joke. 